So my name is Patrick Baird. I work for the Sunderland Cooperative. Uh, kind of a brief overview of the co-op is kind of like an everything is available for different kinds of farmers. So we sell livestock feed, we sell fuel, we do agronomics like sprays and fertilizer and stuff like that. So it's just a one-stop shop for farmers basically. So my role as a dairy feed salesman is there's a lot of points that go into milk production. There's so there's protein and energy and all the minerals and the vitamins. So my job is to balance the feed that the farmers make and are feeding to the cows and we balance a ration around the homegrown feeds with the purchase stuff that they buy from us. And my job is to make sure that the needs are met of the cows and, and they're happy and healthy. I got started in, in this career. Um, I graduated Kempville College. I have a diploma in agriculture. Um, I grew up on a dairy farm and I worked for my neighbors milking cows and I just became really passionate about dairy animals and um, the co-op's really good. It's, it's local. I grew up with it um, in my area so it was kind of a natural gravitation towards the co-op. I, I just started working in the store and then became available that we needed somebody on the road so it was just a really good opportunity and it kind of mixed some of the things that I'm good. I, feel like I'm fairly good with people. I'm passionate about dairy cattle, so it seemed like it was a pretty easy transition into the job. Some of the, the key points that keep me really passionate about my job is I kind of like problem solving, and that's a big part of the job is if there's generally nothing, nothing ever goes perfect. So it's kind of fun to figure out this little problem, and it's really rewarding to help the farmers, help the cows, um, figure out exactly what's going on and uh, keeping everybody healthy. So the, the type of education required, it's for, for my position anyways, it's not necessarily like, you don't need a lot of schooling. It's basically just be passionate and be willing to learn as you get started. But it's always good to have a bit of a background. Um, like I have a diploma in agriculture and that's a really good starting point. Um, but in terms of furthering the education past that, for my role, it's not necessary. You can absolutely become involved in, in these types of careers, even if you're not necessarily born and raised on a farm. Um, as long as you're fairly open-minded and you're willing to, you gotta work hard and, um, and you're willing to learn, you, there's absolutely, there's tons and tons of employment opportunities in these types of, in these types of roles. All you have to do is uh, sign up and try and get an interview. Two of the most important traits I'd say that are involved in, in a career like this are you have to be fairly outgoing, you have to really like working with people, and also you need to be fairly analytical. You need to be able to look at a bunch of different things and and kind of nail down which is the most important and which type of thing to focus on. So I'd say my job fits into the bigger picture of the industry because I'd say as a whole agriculture like any other sector is, is gradually trying to get a little bit better all the time. So my role is to help farmers get better whether it's trying to get a little bit more milk out of the cows, um, trying to look after the cows better, the cow, keeping the cows around a little bit longer, keeping them healthy. Um, so my job is to figure out how to do that and keep the farmers happy.